Howdy all. Happy Wednesday, July 1st. That's insane. How did it get to be July? I don't know. Don't blink, is what I'm thinking. Um, last week's puzzler was, was not really a puzzler, but we'll, uh, we'll go over it anyway. It was, um, first think of the color of the clouds, then think of the color of snow. Now think of the color of the bright full moon in the night sky. Now answer quickly, what does a cow drink? If you were like me, you said milk, because that's what I did. The answer would be, of course, water. Cows don't drink milk. But I know I got a couple of you with it. So that was fun. This week's puzzler is, uh, is a little easy. Or maybe not easy, short. Let's say short. There are two Germans standing on a street corner, and they're having a conversation. One of them is the father of the other son. How could this be? Two Germans standing on a street corner having a conversation. One of them is the father of the other son. How could this be, is the question. So good luck with that. As always, email me, text me, call me. Whatever you want, the answer. It's delightful to hear from you. I get a kick out of it. So this week, um, I got I get weekly, you know, notifications and, and letters and emails from different subscriptions that I have, and and uh, one of them came from um, BeADisciple.com, and they sent me a, a letter all about this hymn, and I it really struck a chord with me. So I thought um, I would share it with you. Music is one of those things that I absolutely love. And if you would ever ask me, you know, what I wanted on a deserted island, I know people say, if you could take three things, you know, on a deserted island, what would you do? And one of them would most definitely be music. I don't think I could survive without it. So the hymn, It Is Well With My Soul, is what the article was written about, and I'll tell you a little bit about it. Horatio Spafford is the author of the hymn. And he wrote these words to his now face famous hymn after a great tragedy and great tragedy doesn't even begin to describe it first his the death of his four-year-old son from scarlet fever then the loss of his many real estate investments in the great Chicago fire of 1871 following this Spafford sent his wife and four young daughters on a ship across the ocean to Europe at the last minute he decided to stay to take care of business and join them a few days later the ship the family was on collided with another ship midship and sank. Horatio received a telegram after hearing about the accident from his wife with this, these six words on it. Saved alone, what shall I do? His four young daughters had perished in the shipwreck. Horatio Spafford spent off on another ship to meet his wife shortly thereafter and as he crossed the same seas that his family had just perished on, he wrote the words to this hymn. When peace like a river attendeth my way, when sorrows like sea billows roll, whatever my lot thou hast taught me to say, it is well, it is well with my soul. Though Satan should buffet, though trials should come, let this blessed assurance control that Christ hath regarded my helpless estate and has shed his own blood for my soul. My sin, oh the bliss of this glorious thought, my sin, not in part, but the whole, is nailed to the cross, and I bear it no more. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, O my soul. For me, be it Christ, be it Christ, hence to live, if Jordan above me shall roll. No pang shall be mine, for in death as in life, thou whisper thy peace to my soul. But Lord, tis for thee, for thy coming we wait. Thy sky, not the grave, is our goal. Our triumph of the angel, O voice of the Lord, blessed hope, bless the rest of my soul. And Lord, haste the day when the face shall be sight, the clouds be rolled back as a scroll, the trump shall resound and the Lord shall descend, even so, it is well with my soul. His wife, Anna, remembering something a friend had once said, it is easy to be grateful and good when you have so much, but take care that you are not a fair weather friend to God. It's incredible to think such encouraging and uplifting words were born from the depths of such unimaginable sorrow. It is an example of a truly inspiring faith and trust in the Lord. 
Perhaps that is why this hymn demonstrates the power of our God as to comfort our weary souls when the darkest tragedies overtake us. So I found a group of uh, ragtag masked handbell ringers in the parking lot the other day um, and they offered to, to play this hymn for you. So be well all. Take care, be safe, and enjoy. God bless. Ring loud. Okay. Ready? One, two, three, two, three.